प्रकाश इस वाले को शुरू करना Hi everyone, Ashish this side, and today we are having a special guest, uh, Prakash Sakari. Uh, he is working in the web development field from last three years, and today he is with us, who is answering all the queries related to web development. And the series called as Everything About Web Development. So let's welcome Prakash sir. Hi Prakash, how are you? I'm good, Ashish. How are you? I am. Well. Thanks for asking. So uh, we are going to start couple of with couple of basic questions like what is web development? What are the different frameworks we are having? What is the what are the career opportunities we are having? So all those kind of questions will be answered here. Okay. So let's start with a very basic one. So everyone knows about what is web development, mm -hmm. but what are these different like what one point oh, two point oh, three point oh? What are these things? Like what is the basic core difference between them? Right. Okay, so basically, these are different versions of websites. So, uh, when initially we started building website, we started with Web 1.0. Web 1.0 is basically where you just have a static website and there is no user engagement. So, for example, basically, let's say if you wanted to uh, create your own portfolio or your own uh, uh, website to just showcase people what are your skills and something like that. So, that was what Web Point Web 1.0 was all about, where it was just a basic static website. Nothing dynamic in it, no user engagement. When I say user engagement, basically it's like, let's say you're using an e-commerce website where you can select a product, add a product to cart, to wishlist and all the things. That was basically not possible in Web 1.0, but that became possible in Web 2.0. Where in Web 2.0, there is a lot of user engagement. A user can play around with the website, let's say Twitter or LinkedIn or uh, uh, Flipkart, Amazon, all of these websites where basically user can do something, even blog website. Like, for example, our website, which is there, Geeks for Geeks, it is also nothing but Web 2.0 because we have a section where we can post our blog, post images and something like that. That is what Web 2.0 is and currently we, we are living in that Web 2.0 uh, version. What Web 3.0 is, basically Web 3.0 uh, is still under development and the plan basically is to give user the full access of whatever the user is accessing. For example, to give you an example, let's say there is uh, that's there is a Uber website, right? So what happens with Uber is you basically uh, select the destination where you have to go and select you know the car according to the price range so uber has already decided that this is a price range for this destination and if you see that there are surge prices also in morning you'll see a different price in afternoon you'll see a different price evening you'll see a different price so basically the control is totally uh, on their hand hand but what uh, is the plan of web 3.0 the developers is to give you the control so basically with web 3.0 there is a possibility of an application where you can basically select the price in which you want to travel right and then you can pitch the price and then different drivers basically who have their cab or whatever it is they will see that this is a price range in which this person wants to travel these many kilometers and if that basically fits for that driver then he can select it so that basically is web 3.0 where your data is secured right basically the concept is to keep your data secure now whenever you visit any website in this situation also in web 2.0 let's say if you are uh, uh, searching for let's say uh, stays in uttarakhand right and after that let's say if you if you go through instagram or face facebook you'll see those ads right you might have seen those ads because i have seen those ads right that happens because your data is being collected whatever you search it's a cumulative where the data has been shared web 3.0 is used to secure that like if you are searching something the data is not shared anywhere and uh, how will web 3.0 come into picture there is a lot of blockchain involved in it a lot of decentralization involved in it a uh, lot of ml and ai is also involved in it so that is like bringing all the technologies together and making website which is safe and secure for the end user that is what web 3.0 is so we are just moving one one level ahead but it's still under under work and we still do not have any apps with web 3.0 so in a nutshell like if i can say like uh, web 1.0 is uh, one way communication right web 2.0 is where we can interact with the website like login adding to card or exactly. whatever things exactly. and web 3.0 is providing the decentralization to it right, right? like exactly. we can add blockchain so that no one company can have mm -hmm. all the uh, like access, access to it's it. like uh, like uh, in demonetization it happened right, right. rba right. is having all the access mm -hmm. so they can do the demonetization and right. everything will be blocked right. but if you are talking about something like blockchain uh, or what I would say Bitcoin, mm -hmm. so that that doesn't impact that much because it's a universal currency. Right, exactly. Okay, exactly. so that's that's great. 
That's great. So if I'm talking about the uh, future of web development, mm-hmm. where do you think, like, where the, this field is going? 